Good evening and welcome back to the final session of the 2022 SBC Pastors Conference and we are going to end it in an incredible way exactly as we begin it. We're going to have biblical singing, passionate prayer, and biblical exposition, and I'm looking forward uh, to that as Matt Boswell and the Cowden Hall Band will come and lead us in just a moment through some hymns. Then I will have the privilege of hearing from Julio Ariola as he continues our journey through Colossians 4, verses 2 through 6. And then, y'all are in for a treat. Our final sermon, Colossians chapter four, verses seven through 18, will be preached by none other than Al Jackson. And uh, he's, he's got his own little cheering crowd right here in the front. And uh, Al has, has given his life to laboring in the trenches of gospel ministry and pouring in uh, to, to pastors and future pastors, and, and many of them are here today, and I encourage them to make faces at him the entire time, just like they did when they were youth uh, back in the youth group. And so uh, we're grateful for you, Dr. Jackson, and look forward to hearing from you in just a moment. And then when he is done, we are going to have a word from Dr. Hans Stilbeck about finishing well, uh, which is gonna come right on the hills of Dr. Jackson. And, uh, and then we will have a hymn sing, a hymn sing, not a hearse, a hymn sing. That was going to be a lame joke that was going to get me canceled. But I am glad you are here tonight. Let me pray for us, and then I'm going to turn it over to Matt Boswell in the Cowden Hall Band. Let's pray together. God, you are good. Lord, and your mercy endures forever. Lord, we thank you for every single second during this conference that has been let out and enjoyed, encouraging pastors, lifting up your name, but for your glory alone. Not for Matt or the Cowden Hall Band, not for any number of our preachers or guest speakers, not for me or our officers, but Lord, to bring glory to your name as we call one another to devote ourselves to proclaim Christ. Lord, we thank you for this time. And while we are tired, while our bellies are full and maybe ready and longing for that bed, tune our hearts to sing thy praise for just a moment and then prepare our hearts to drink deeply of your word as we continue our study of Colossians together. Lord, help us to finish well, and just as we've done for your glory now, and then help us to embrace endurance as we return home. Father, and I ask right now, if there's just one person in this room that may feel like they are barely hanging on by a thread, that they are weary, that they're worn down, that they're worried about what is waiting for them at home, that just for a moment tonight, they will be able to hit the pause button. And Lord, from the music, to this prayer, to the preaching of your word, that they will be encouraged to persevere. Lord, we give that to you. Father, if there's anybody here or listening in or walking by that doesn't know you, I pray that through the preaching of your word that they may turn to you in faith as well. Lord, we put all of this in your hands as we conclude this time together. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.